I'm gonna be honest with you, I felt like I just cheated. Like, I should have never done that. I failed my body. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's Sam. Carlisa. Sipping on that. What'd you get? Chocolate croissant. What kind? What kind? You guys should tell them what kind. Sunrise, sunset. Hey, I sunrise, think. sunset is really good. So today I came up with this idea since we're both politarian. If you don't know what politarian is, it's people who refrain from red meat, from eating red meat. So I came up with this idea since it's been so long. We are going to a fast food slash restaurant, whatever, that we're craving. And pick up something that has red meat in it. I'm driving first, so I'm pulling up to something that I really have been craving since we're doing this. That I ain't no steak and shake. <laughs> I have no clue what's on your mind. I mean, if it's not a steak, then I don't really want it. Here we go with this fine dining <laughs> shit. But well, any steak, steak is the best, though. Steak is the best red meat. If you're getting red meat, why wouldn't you get a steak? I'm gonna show you what I'm, I've been craving for a I long time. I mean, the time. burger, but. Steak is you like got, a you, big you ass juicy steak, like a filet mignon or a ribeye. Oh no! But let's get, hop right into this vlog. Let's go. It's not. What's the thing? Is it's not steak. I know it's a burger. I give you. I give you one hit. Yes, it's a burger. I knew it was a burger. Yeah. Cause you, anything else. Yeah. I know you low key want to go to the Cheesecake Factory and get a real burger, oh. but you didn't put that to go. Um, oh, probably McDonald's double cheeseburger. Mm, I was thinking of that, but mm -hmm. you that. was you was definitely talking about it. I was it. thinking about it. You a, was definitely talking about it. I, no, I was. I was thinking about a double cheese. Uh, no onion, no pickle. You gotta think more greasy and Steak more. and shake. That shit is greasy as fuck. <laughs> that shit is greasy with them little skinny ass fries. Mm. Skinny ass fries too. Just, just know where we're going. I've been craving for a very long time. I'm not even gonna lie. And I'm just happy burger it has King. to do with red meat. It's just a Burger King burger. Burger King burger? Yeah. Nah, you, you too boring. I told it you. It has to be. Dude, it's steak and shake. Like, I'm not it's slow. It's real greasy. It's steak and shake. I'm not <laughs> slow. And I give you, you, I give you, I give you another hint. We, I used to smack these. It's steak smack and shake. Em. It's steak and shake. Go for you. You're trying to lie. I like, want to know dude. what. I wonder what you're going to pick. I mean, I really want the steak. We're not going to Ruth Chris. <laughs> we are not going to Ruth Chris. We're, not even, traffic and shit we're not even in the area. We're not even in the area of Ruth Chris. I know you don't. You're like, well, since we're doing this, let's just go all the way down there. Well, no, I think there actually is one over here. Bro, them steaks cost like $60. <laughs> um, um, we also just got done with our baby appointment. I'm currently... 39 weeks about the pop and yeah i'm 39 weeks and what's today friday like five days or six days i'm about to be 40 weeks on march 9th that's my current due date so i'm currently four dialed at four and nothing major hasn't been going on she just did a second they just did a second membrane sweep and she was not playing this time. Well, this was a midwife. And she was not playing. She was really doing it for real. She said she was slipping sliding. And so I don't know what she was doing. But yeah, that I'm in some pain right now. Because we literally just came out. Yeah. And just got a smoothie. <laughs> but. Well, you said you were feeling lightheaded. Say. Well, yeah, I just started feeling, feeling lightheaded. So we had to get a smoothie. But. Oh. Yeah, so they said that I should be. You know, anything, you know, she's on call on Sunday and Friday. So I'm praying that either I go into labor on Sunday. But if not, I have an appointment on Tuesday, which they're going to do another membrane sweep, which I should be at like 5. Which you, I could really be going in the hospital 
and literally any time i'm already at four they can low-key take me if i want to get induced right now but i'm a little i'm a way a little he just needs to come but he needs to come monday yeah we, i really miss cairo like i really get on the cry get emotional you've been gone what two weeks on set tomorrow be two weeks oh, no. okay i'm as soon as he comes back i'm gonna have a little day for him for <laughs> i miss that little man too but um the struggle the struggle but but yeah so if let me see on Tuesday, was it Sunday? I go into labor. The midwife that I love, that I like the most, she's gonna be able to, you know, help deliver. I'm currently trying. To, I'm currently doing. I'm currently in the process of doing a V back instead of a repeat cesarean. That's what I have with Cairo. So we're planning. You know, everything goes perfect that way. She's um, really experienced with that type of stuff. And then if not, so if nothing happens from now. All the way till Friday, which would be the 13th. Um, then sh I'm they're already putting for me to be seen on Friday, so no matter what, the baby's coming Friday. Period. Yeah, fr Friday's the big day. Friday would be the big day. It's the big day. And dude, it's steak and shake. Like, we're going over there. I'm not That's slow. why I don't like doing this shit with you, man. Like, how How do you know? I already know. Like, you're going where I already know where it's Yes, at. I'm about to go to steak and shake, man. I've been <laughs> craving these burgers for I the longest, know. man. I already know. No, I'm going to just tell you now that I really don't know what you're going to pick. That's... That's gonna be crazy, but yes, we about to pull up the steak and shake. I used to eat their salads, but their salads are poop now. You, you about to see in a minute what I'm about to order. You can be like, mm, for all those red meat eaters. Y'all, what did I tell you? <laughs> I already knew. But I bet you, like, you, I already, you don't know what I'm about to what? order. I know you about to just get some. Huh? Eh. I know you about to just get some only ketchup. Excuse me. Mm -mm, I'm gonna mix it up. You're only gonna get ketchup on that bitch. I'm gonna mix it up. And then there's like a little barbecue one or chipotle one you used to get. Yeah, and then just wait till I order, alright? <laughs> and you shouldn't try to get that um Ooh, delicious is in the details. <laughs> I already know. That looks like a good ass good ass shake. Uh, they, hey, they do have some good ass shakes though too. You yes, haven't had a shake here in a long time. long time. Oh, they have a $4 double burger and milkshake special. Mm. Oh, that's probably mm. the one that you're going to get. <laughs> I'm about to see. Uh, the triple steak burger and fries. The meal under four? Uh, on that burger, let me just do ketchup and mustard. Ew. And does it come with cheese or no cheese? It says... Uh, you can <gasps> add cheeses as, as well. Yes, and cheese, yeah. And that that's the meal, the four, four, four meals under four, right? Yeah. All right. And then <laughs> I see that your happy hour is going on. I'm going to have... Seven, I forgot what red meat tastes 36. like. Man. You hear me? I forgot what red meat tastes like for real. Dude, just, you know what red meat tastes like. I've been stuck on that uh, vegetarian, it's, what is it, all beyond meat. Yeah. This is, this is good though. Like you don't need the hype. Yeah. All right, so I got my food. Can't really see the burger because it's wrapped up a little bit. But. Well, let me get that cherry. Oh yeah, go ahead. But it's oh. Carly's turn. I picked out steak and shake. I'm about to see what she picks. Ow! What's she doing? <laughs> Nothing happens on like. Tuesday, then I don't think I'm gonna have them shoot my membrane again just so I can hold off till Friday. Well, yeah, that'd be good. Babe, like I said, that's all you, whatever you decide. Did you eat my cherry? Damn, you smashed that cherry. That small ass cherry. She said, I don't. I, I think, know like, me. I think she stopped because she wanted to take I don't know extra caution because she got hit before. Okay, so she got smacked. Watch out if she gets smacked again. Go. So, this girl. Pull up to Wendy's. But anyways, while we was pulling up, my shake's like halfway gone. Smashing this cookies and cookie dough. 
can I get um, can I get one just a sandwich of the Atlantic um, the cod sandwich can I get it fresh please just a sandwich yeah, fresh please with extra tartar sauce. Can I get a double stack? Ketchup, pickles, and onion, and mustard. Can I get no mustard, please? Oh, yeah, she don't like mustard yes, at all. Anything else? And one junior bacon cheeseburger. Damn. Okay, anything else? <laughs> That's that pregnant and just shit, just a cup of water, and I'll be it. Hey, man. That pregnancy, cra that pregnancy right, craving shit is 19. real, y'all. With the other window. Like, damn, these are um, like three sandwiches. Damn. <laughs> and my fish sandwich better be fresh, too, because she act like she didn't want to put it down. But she got Wendy's. Mm -hmm. I got steak and shake. Let's dig into this red meat. Yeah, so I y'all heard me say that I wanted it fresh, right? And I'm really tempted because it's still over there. We're in another parking lot. I'm really tempted to go over there because they didn't give me my shit fresh. And I heard them talking about it saying that I wanted it fresh and y'all knew it wasn't fresh so I'm really irritated right now let me like just that, eat so. some of this like I don't like when my stuff is not fresh and I used to when this was my first job like no like you know how this to prepare the food me out. you just pop it in there and it, I, that's why I took that's why I ordered it first so they could put it in there and it's a waste of time but yo like I said I haven't about ate about to piss me off but I haven't ate red meat in a long time, but this is a triple steak burger with mustard and ketchup and cheese. I'm really. I'm really low key mad. Yo. Like, I'm not even playing. I'm really mad because my fish sandwich is not. Damn. It's good, but you just start eating your your sandwich. I didn't even do mine yet. Oh yeah, you want that fish? But I'm hungry. I mean, honestly, between the real thing and plant based meat, it is tripping, bro. Bro, tripping. If you don't drop that, but no, like the I'm dead serious. The difference between, I mean, you can tell, like, yeah, and this is very good, by the way. <laughs> but I'd rather stick to the plant base. You know you lying. No, this shit good though. It's been nine months. That tastes. You like the poker burger better than that? Yeah. Honestly. Why? Because I know I'm just eating something healthier. And two. Remember, it's like, still processed though, but it's that's way better than red meat. I'm better for the environment and the animal's sake. Like shit, mm. this shit is smacking though. I'll tell you that. Uh, uh, let me put this warm ass cold sandwich down. It's definitely good, but it's not hot enough. And I hate next time. I only did this because I only did did not I didn't go in there because you needed to eat your food. Mm -hmm. That's really the reason why. Or else I would have definitely went in there and said something. Mm, you still could have, but it's just been a little bit cold. No, I would have really said something. Mm, I know though. After this burger, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of shit coming afterwards. You wanna try mine first? Ew, no. You have three patties. <laughs> That just looks huge. Like, this is... bro. nine months I haven't ate red meat, yo. Now, if they put mustard on here, just a little bit of ketchup. I, look, look at mine. Look. Like, I, like, I hate going to, like... I used to work, like... That makes when me I, when I want to some work condiments back. on my stuff, bro, put some condiments on But some on people it, don't like, like that, all that, though. And oh, yeah. big old onions. What? What? They ain't break them up or nothing. Like this big old this is for the bigger big than sandwich. The bun. This is bigger than my whole sandwich. <laughs> I should really go in there. Wait, did you want cheese on it? No, remember? It's a double stack. You get cheese. Oh. I like cheese. Oh, she was asking on the card sandwich. Yeah. Okay, well let me just try this. 
<laughs> How do you know it's good? You see how the onion, like, it's about to come off your sandwich. They made that shit in, like, a second. You pissed me off. Yeah. I mean, I, was, I don't feel like I was missing anything. It was smacking it. Mm. You could definitely go without this, though. Like, you, you don't really need this. You can, like. But, yeah, oh. Yo, I was just eating. This that, is the reason why. Another thing, too, why I've been craving it. Like, yo, what the fuck is that? It's like a bone part or a like fat thing. A fatty substance. Ew. Like, yeah, that's another thing. Like, when you be getting, like, those little ball thingies mm -hmm. in the meat, that's really disgusting. Like, yo. That really just makes me think back, like, oh, my I'm God. I'm going to still finish it because I'm hungry, but... But definitely, I feel like y'all could go without this. It's not a necessity. I feel like, you know, just the media and everybody hypes up meat. I definitely would, you know, recommend trying to do a pescatarian or a pollo, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever you said that we are in the process of. Pollotarian. Pollotarian. Not that we are. I mean, well, we just ate this, so we had to start all well, over. Yeah, true. <laughs> but vegetarian, you know, vegan is a little bit more strict, but I definitely, you know, as I have a burger in my hand, but. I just really wanted to see like the difference in the tasting since we haven't had it for a long time. Let you could definitely go without this. There's so many different alternatives to you know help save the environment and the planet, save animals that don't need to be getting slaughtered just because y'all want to eat the damn eat burger. It. So, but no, honestly, not that serious. I mean, honestly, if you want to still stick to meat and you like meat a lot, honestly, try to go plant based. There's nothing really wrong with plant based, and with plant based, you can also saute, not saute, season to however you want. So, really, it's the seasoning that begin people in the meat. Mm -hmm. I can see that. If you know how to season, you know how to cook right, you could definitely go plant based and won't even. Not gonna be exactly, but it will be really close to the same thing. It's not like I need to like. Oh my god, I need a burger. I have to get a burger. I would definitely choose chicken over bread, over red meat any day. Anytime. And then I really love salads. I really choose a salad or a like baked potato, french fries, apples. Um, it just makes you feel better because I feel like after we eat this, we're going to feel so weighed down and it's going to just make us feel, we're going to be burping up the grease and stuff. I'm going to be honest with you, I felt like I just cheated. Like, I should never done that. I failed my body. I'm going to be fit on that toilet pretty soon. <laughs> But yo, it was good. It was good while it lasted. Yeah. Right, there so we go. I'm going to say for y'all again, it's been nine months and I have had red meat. And I don't see myself ever eating it again after this. I just had to get it one last time. Yeah, it's just... It's I, okay if you... It's okay if you, you know, stop and go because we are human. Majority of us were raised on... Eating meat and animal products, it's okay. You know, it's a process. It doesn't start overnight. But you can definitely get there. Just put it in your mind. You could definitely transition your kids or whatever. You could do it. But if you absolutely, like, love meat, you know, if you can't see yourself living without eating without meat, see yourself living without meeting, eating red meat, it's just, just a, it's a mindset, though. Yeah, it's a mindset. But just balance it out. Like, just incorporate your red meats, not daily, but just, like, spread it out. Like, it's still incorporate in your diet, but just not as much. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to go the healthy way, that's it. If y'all really research, watch a couple documentaries on Netflix and really see. Because we really don't even know where this is coming from. We know it's coming from Wendy's or Steak and Shake. But at the end of the day, we yeah, don't know where, where, where the source really of the real from. cow came from. We don't know what they're mixing in with this or what they're doing. Which, you know, makes us feel bad because we don't even know what we just put back on our body. But, I mean, it is what it is. Can't take it back. I already ate the hamburger. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. After this day, I'll never forget of me eating that triple steak burger holy well, shit well now we're gonna know exactly the day because it's on video <laughs> exactly and i will i don't think i don't see myself coming back to eating meat i'm good but thank you guys so much for tuning in we'll see y'all in the next video